Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kidding up this diamond painting. This diamond painting is from Diamond Art Club. It is Fall Time by Graham Grecken. It's from Diamond Art Club. I got this for $26.66 because I was I used a buy two get one free coupon. Um, it's on poured glue with square drills and they have DMC numbers and there are 28 colors in all. Um, here is the original image. I did not bother making my own thumbnail because why? I knew it was going to come with this. Um, and this does have its own labels. So I think I'm going to move you down a little bit for the kidding up portion since you don't really need to see this here. I'm going to move this aside so that the plastic cover does not add static to my kidding up and I just realized the camera's a little bit of skew. I totally need a different backdrop here so that it doesn't you can't tell that it's not straight. So I'm going to be using the Harbor Freight containers. Um, normally these come with 24. It can fit three more so now I have 27 in here. Unfortunately I only I have 28 colors so I'm gonna use a baggie for the last color um, just just so for space issues um, <laughs> I guess I could always use a different container that has more um, storage but I figure with 28 colors only for this big uh, that I'll have ones with a lot so I wanted something with bigger containers okay so so you know what, I'm, I know that these are in order of like quantity, so I'll just get the very last one here and that will be the one that goes into my baggie. So that is, let's see, that one is 334 three, because I figure if it really is by quantity, the one with the least will go on in the baggie here. I ordinarily don't like working out of baggies, but for space, I'm just going to use it. And I figure with the one with the least amount, I'm not going to have to open this that often. Okay, so the rest I'm just going to label. These are really small labels. I wish they made them bigger. Um, I'm going to move it this way because for whatever reason... I have an easier time labeling it that way. I do like that the labels are cut out. I really do hope that they are removable, but I'm not going to test it until I'm um, going to kit down because I have noticed removable labels tend not to be restickable, like as well. Like you take it off and it doesn't come back, it doesn't stick again easily. So. I try not to remove removable labels until I'm actually removing them. Does that make sense? So, for some reason these are so small that it's it's really hard for me to take them off. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. And I'll, I'll save I'll save these other ones as labels. Because um, there are more labels. It goes all the way down. It's cut all the way through. I'm guessing maybe they have a cutting machine and they're only... And they're cut one way. I don't know. Okay. I guess I'm so used to my, like bigger labels that these are just like so tiny but I think these are good for especially if people are using the Tic Tac containers or the Elizabeth Ward the smallest container for the Elizabeth Ward these will fit so it's more multi-container it's good for different containers I'm guessing okay And then I'm just going to cut this off so that I'll be I'll just be able to save the labels. 
because free labels. Not that I don't have lots of labels. <laughs> I have tons of labels. I'll just put it in. Now it's too long. Oh well. I'll cut it in half somewhere here. I'm probably gonna cut part of the label, but that's okay. Free, free extra labels. Okay. So, eh, we could just continue on. It doesn't matter, right? Which order I do this? Three twenty-two. Okay. Where's my scissors? Okay. So I'm actually recording this on my a not normal day I record. I'm recording this. I'm actually recording this in the afternoon after work. Um, so because it's supposed to get hot again, yes, sigh. It's um. Well, for you, this is going to be posted on Friday, so all what I'm saying is going to happen the previous weekend. Um, but for me, it's the future. <laughs> so it's supposed to get hot again um, starting tomorrow, which will be the Wednesday before this post video is getting posted. And I just... One, I don't have full house air conditioning. I have like a, one of those um, air conditioning units that are on like wheels. And it's currently um, set up in my bedroom. And I guess I, it has wheels. I could move it to the room that I'm recording. The only thing is the window, like the, the those removable, like removable, the wheeled um, air conditioning units, they have this like hose thing that you need to um, set up outside of your window. Or not outside, but like have it on your window and the wind the, it doesn't fit the window that's currently that's in the room that I'm recording in because like the previous owners of this made like this fancy window that ha put in this like fancy windowsill so it's like a window that juts out and you could put plants on it um and and well then that made the windows kind of some weird like size and they're small so it the hose thing does not fit the window so it wouldn't efficiently work in this room at or i would have to get a different hose and i was like nope i'm not doing that i guess i could always record in my um bedroom i just have to move a table or something there or i could use my diamond painting table which is currently in that room too because that's I didn't normally diamond paint in my bedroom, but after it started getting hot, I moved my table in there so that um, I could take advantage of my portable AC thing. Um, so yeah, it, so it was so the reason I'm talking about this is because I'm recording this on an off on a day I don't normally record. I usually record on my day off or on the weekend. And oop, look at there's like a stabby piece of something. Um, and I'm recording this on Tuesday. <laughs> so not, like I said, not my normal... On the Tuesday before this is getting posted, like the Tuesday a week and a half before this is getting posted. Um, so not my normal video, video day, but mainly it's so that I'm not gonna be cranky or something <laughs> while, while recording or not like dying from the extra heat because I don't have air conditioning, a whole house unit air conditioning. So then I um what's it called? My my um my neighbor actually last year he was very smart. They um installed a air conditioning unit um for their house last year using their stimulus check money. <laughs> and then but he, they did it last year. And then I was like Man, that is so smart because last year it, it we didn't have in 2020 we didn't have this kind of heat wave like it was normal like I got by just using a fan and I probably only used the fan like a handful of times. So but this year because of the heat wave I I'm guessing prices are way more expensive. So he did tell me that 
I think to put in the air conditioning unit, he told me it cost him like 6,000 something dollars, but his house is also a bigger house because it's a full family house. My house is probably meant for like a couple or something. Um, so it's not, it's not that big. Um, but since the, the houses in the neighborhood were built by the same people, I, I figured he would be perfect to ask like what kind of thing he had, what kind of like, did he have to do more duct work or something? Um, to get the air conditioning unit and he's like no it was just an addition to like the furnace system so I was like okay maybe I could do this um, <laughs> and I and he was telling me like the lower numbers were more in the 4,000 something range so he thinks that with my house being smaller I would probably be more in the 4,000 something range as opposed to the $6,000 range um, but that's still a lot of pennies, $4,000. But yeah, that was a very smart use of the stimulus check. And I'm thinking, how much did we get last year? I don't even recall. There was like the 1200 <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just put it in my bank or, you know, I didn't really do anything special with my stimulus check. So, <laughs> so but yeah, no, that was, that was probably, that was such a, like, yeah, now that it's hot, I'm like, that's an awesome idea, but like I said, in 2020, it didn't get this hot, so it just seemed like strange to get air conditioning. So I might think about doing the whole air conditioning, but I would have to wait till it's the off season so that it won't be expensive. And I figure if this summer is this bad, next summer might I I bet next summer it'll be like perfectly normal. But you know, there just the, just the fact that this summer there's been multiple heat waves ever since May. It's been like over like 70 degrees lots of times over 80 degrees um and normally it only goes over 80 degrees a handful of times while it's while now it's been like almost the norm to be over 80 degrees which i don't like that's not i purposely live in a temperate area so that i don't have to deal with the super heat waves <laughs> Oh my gosh, is Was Western Washington going to become, like, that hot now? <laughs> um, why can't I find it? Um, the one bad thing about Diamond Art Club is they're not in DMC order, but the one good thing is they are by, you know, size, so if you let, do like using the the Elizabeth Ward system that has the multiple sizes. It's a little easier to kit this up because then you kind of know how much is in there. Um, but if you're using like the same size containers, then it doesn't really matter. Um, but what was I saying? Um, oh, that I'm not used to the heat. Um, yeah. And so, like I said, I'm recording this so that I am not going to be grumpy um when recording because it's so hot so and it's supposed to be hot tomorrow it's supposed to get to the 90s tomorrow oh my gosh and then you know what's gonna happen is like it's supposed to be in the starting the in supposed to be in the 90s tomorrow which is wednesday for me and it's supposed to be like in the 90s up to saturday but that just means that sunday is probably gonna be high 80s or something but next week looks like it'll be back in the 70s so so yeah, that should be good. <laughs> but but yeah, nope. I'm recording now, so you so I'm not super uncomfortable. Rec especially since okay, so I don't know if you realize this, but when I'm recording, I have like all the lights on. As I I even bought extra lights because I I did notice my my um, videos were a little dark so I have a bunch of extra lights on and and typically when it's really hot I just kind of sit in the dark so it's like I, I don't open my windows just so that like the heat that just this just sunlight brings into a room doesn't yeah so this is 900 so yeah I can't believe I've been rambling about how, how hot it is. Okay, so you know, I was actually, I could, so I, I don't have 
I don't have many diamond art clubs, but I did notice that they're in their little tips and tricks. They wrote down to use dryer sheets if you have static cling, and then they said to use the checkerboard technique to apply to diamonds. Um, applying diamonds in checkerboard matter will give you straight lines every time. Okay, so I have a like okay. I know about the checkerboard technique, but my thing is if the canvas and the drills were printed where the canvas um, grid is equal to the size of the drills, then you shouldn't have to use the checkerboard um, system. Like that should not be what you have to do you're you should be able to multi-place this because the whole point of like i'm doing a square diamond painting but even in rounds the whole point of having a good quality diamond painting is so that you're not supposed to have gapping so now i'm pondering if diamond art club is going to be gappy are you going to be gappy and am i am i going to get annoyed doing this square so like squares i do get annoyed when there is a lot of gapping in squares because it's it makes it that you can't multi-place because then you have to like spread it out because you will see it and that you could get the, the yeah i don't just don't like gapping period because i multi-place and and gapping show like when you multi-place and there is gapping that means you always have to spread out the drills so yeah that's a nice technique but i shouldn't have to use it um <laughs> but yeah okay there's my rant about gapping being you know accepted and having to do checkerboarding because yeah and sometimes checkerboarding does not work if there's too much gapping. Okay, so do I think I'm going to be able to fit the next one in there? I don't know. I think I'm not going to be greedy and I'll just cut this out and put it to the side here because I don't think the whole thing is going to fit. 603. And hence why I wanted to use this system because I figure there's going to be some with a lot of drills. Okay, I'm just looking at the clock and I'm like, this is going to be a very fast kitting up and I'm pondering whether I should go and get another diamond painting and kit it up because I don't know. I've I asked before if um, folks like the longer kit ups and it seemed like people did like the longer kit ups. So I might go get another diamond painting after this since it's not even 20 minutes yet and I'm, I'm on my last color, which... I guess I'm not going to be able to fit this all. 762. Where's 762? It's in alphabetical order. Okay, I'm hoping I'll fit two bags, but if not, I'll just put one bag and... Yeah, no. That's it. That's all, folks. Okay. <laughs> so... Okay, I actually have a lot of extra drills on this one. Okay, so 334. I'm not going to bother putting this in alphabetical order or anything. I'm just going to put this 334 in the middle here and can this fit? Nope. So I'm just going to have to, well, you know what I'm going to do? Just masking tape this thing in here. Yep, the... <laughs> so yeah, I was able to, yeah, I finished that really quickly. So I will go find another diamond painting, so I'm going to pause and go get one. Well, stand up and pause. Okay, I got another diamond painting. I was going to stick with my full theme. I'm going to do these gnomes with the, like, multicolored pumpkins. So here's the original image. Um, I doubt that I love fall part is going to show up, but I think I might, might, tr I might, I don't know. We'll see how much effort I want to do on this. I might try to just make, write out the word fall here and just freestyle it, but we'll see. We'll see how much, like I said, how much effort I want to do. Um, so yeah, this is, I don't know why I call I think I call it pumpkin gnomes. Um, this is from DIY Digital Art. This was sent to me as a product review and it was $5.25 on their site at the time of me 
making my little inventory thing. Um, it's a 24.5 by 35 centimeter with poured glue, round drills that have DMC, and there are 24 colors. I realized I didn't get a storage container. I'll be right back. Okay, that's what happens when I do an impromptu one. So I'm gonna use uh, this um, here since I figure it should fit, right? There's only 24 and there's 28 containers here. I'll have four extra, hopefully. So, so yeah, I'm gonna move the diamond painting aside so that, you know, I don't have that extra plastic in there. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, so I did stand this. Um, put the legend on some label paper. I have not cut this out, so let me go cut this out. Let's see. So I do always have like this extra lip on the label so that it'll make it easier for when I cut it out. So I'm just going to use the blade to score it and hopefully not score too much. Um, I could also use the blade and continue cutting it, but I found the scissors are easier. Um, so yeah, I'm just cutting out the labels now, but yeah, that's why I have the lip so that the labels don't become like individual pieces and it'll still be together. Um, I did make a video about how I make these labels in case you're interested. Um, I, I doubt I'll link it because I'll forget to link it. I should just link that video to all of my kidding ups that it'll just be like a check out how I make my labels. I'll just, I won't, yeah, I might, I might just add that to my normal things to link while doing my kidding ups. And I'm also thinking I should do my, how I make my journal thing to my normal links in case, you know, you want to know about all the weird things I do because I go a little bit extra, I think, on my <laughs> kidding up. Um, okay. So yeah, there it is. I cut the labels. So... Okay. Unfortunately, with these being, you know, four stuck together, I'm not going to be able to alphabet put them in alphabetical order. I guess I could, but that's a little bit more effort than I'm willing to do. Um, so wait, I should have the table right next to me in case since the bags only have one, you know, to 24, but I don't have that on these labels because I actually don't care about that, that one. So, okay. Hopefully, I, on I, on I only have four at most that need more than one box because that's all the extra I'm going to have, so... Okay, okay. Yeah, none of them look super full, so I'm hoping it'll fit into these, just the 28 containers. Alright, so... What was I talking about in the first part of the video? I don't even remember. This is like two completely different videos since <laughs> I went and paused and got another diamond painting. Well, you know, I didn't have a um, kidding up last week because I I did go... Um, I, I got really into organizing my specials that I kind of ran out of time to record a kidding up um, because I, I spent, I think, almost three hours um, um, organizing my, um, my special shape drills and, or my special drills, which, you know, is my ABs, my rhinestones, the special shape ones. So yeah, I spent like three hours recording that, that I kind of just, it's not that I ran out of time. It's more like at some point my, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> so I guess I could have done, like, um, a no speaking kidding up. But I, 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 okay. I know myself that once I'm on camera, I'm going to just start speaking. Um, unless there's, like, something else playing in the background. Or I could, you know, back when I was earlier in my channel, I was doing um, time-lapse kidding ups until, um... 
I believe it was Sharon that told me I should do real-time ones. And how I would do those time-lapse ones is I would have like an audiobook in my earbuds because I did the time-lapse but I still kind of liked adding the sound effects from my actual kidding up. So even though it was a time-lapse, you could still hear all my like my clicking and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I would I would record those while I had an audiobook playing or in my earbuds so you wouldn't hear the audiobook but you would hear all the sounds I made while kidding up. Um, I guess I could do that if I don't feel like speaking, but I know myself. I'm just, I like speaking for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, this, I'm guessing my blade wasn't that good at cutting. Okay, there. Where was I? 4, 1, 5 is 7, okay. So yeah, I think I got so used to just constantly speaking while doing these videos. <laughs> okay. So, okay. I do still have lots of questions that um, Jeanette gave me for things to talk about. So let me pull that up on my screen here. Um, okay. First thing I saw, do you sing when no one can hear you? Or maybe you have a wonderful singing voice. Yeah, no, I don't have a wonderful singing voice. You do not want to hear me sing um, unless unless you want to hear some bad singing. Um, but do I sing? I talk to myself. I live alone. I talk to myself. Um, sometimes I speak out loud what I think I'm going to talk about in these um, videos, but I stop doing that because what ends up happening is if I plan too much, um, I, I forget that I didn't say it because I already thought of I should say it. Does that make sense? Um, it's like I I prepared too much and I thought too much about what I was going to say and then I I don't ever say what I like practice because I thought I said it. Does that make oh my gosh like you don't even understand what a word I'm saying but yeah no I I talk, I, I talk to myself, and since I live alone, I do talk to myself. And especially during the pan, like, well, I guess we're kind of still in the pandemic, but during all the lockdowns, I talk to myself because, you know. Okay, this is, I just didn't cut well over here. So, okay. Just trying to. See, the blade thing works to a point if you actually cut well. <laughs> okay, so yeah, no, I, I, I don't sing well. I, I think I sing okay, but not well. But no, it's not even okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I do sing to myself. I talk to myself. Um, right now I'm talking to myself. Um, <laughs> But I guess I'm also talking to you, but right now I'm talking to myself. So if you do end up doing a YouTube channel, um, there's a lot of you talking to yourself. Um, which I guess was kind of good with me. <laughs> Living alone, there's a lot of talking to yourself. Um, I always have like the TV on or something like in the background, like YouTube or something, just because it can get really quiet. Um, <laughs> So yeah, no, nope, not a singer. I was never, I'm not, I was all, and also, you know, my mom never was like, ever told me that I was a really good singer because, you know, you know how like sometimes you watch like one of those singing competitions and you know, they always have those ones where, I don't know if they do it anymore, like uh, in American Idol where they have the people who are obviously bad, but they just put them in there and then they come in there all all confident that they're really good at singing because one you let them through so then they think oh my gosh i made it through because you know the they they have I, I bet you they're screening people who screen the um auditioners before they even see the main judges so someone let them through because they were there for the comic relief and not because they're really good but then they, the fact that they got through makes them think they're good yeah no that was never me and 
my, my mom was never a parent that, like, that, you know, didn't tell me that, or, you know, said that I sing good even though I don't, um, or sing well. That's such bad grammar. Um, because, okay. You know those people who are overconfident in their singing ability? Someone in their life probably told them they sing well, even if they don't. So, so then they get all outraged when they don't make it through. But yeah, nope, that was never the case growing up because otherwise, you know what would happen? Like, I don't know if this is for everyone, but if I had sung well, my... My parents would have probably made me sing in front of guests or something if, you know, if I actually sang well, because that's what children are for, right? Entertainment for your guests. <laughs> I'm being mean. I'm being, I'm just kidding. But yeah, nope. Singing, not my, not my talent. Um, let's see. Another one. Just, um, do you love cooking food? Okay, I used to cook a lot more um, when I was not living alone, but once you start living alone, like, I swear, like, you, you lose all motivation to, like, cook, so all of my stuff that I'm cooking is just, like, fast and easy. Like, I would just cut up some meat, put some, like, frozen mixed vegetables in there or something, and and make a stir fry and then have some rice with it or something that that's pretty much like almost every single meal uh not not well not every single meal but that's like what i end up like making or something if i am cooking um i'm not saying that i can't cook but i was never really like a savory food cook i more i more enjoy making dessert so i mean i i did make I, 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 I mean, I remember, you know, back when it wasn't scary to go to church because <laughs> church is just like a breeding ground for COVID. Um, back when um, I used to volunteer at church um, for a lot of things and I would make, um, well, at least when I was in Seattle, you know, pre-COVID, I, I would make like cupcakes or something for some sort of um, fundraiser or... Um, there was a time I made lumpia for another fundraiser. So I I did used to do this kind of thing. Um, well, lumpia is um, Filipino egg rolls, if you don't know. Um, <laughs> but I, I used to make like cookies or something. You know, it was, but after, okay, after I, I, after I started living alone and especially because of COVID um, where if I ended up baking something, the only person who would eat it is me. And well, that's never good if you're trying not to gain weight. So, and I did actually kind of go on like a baking, I think, ev did everyone do this? Like went on like a baking binge um, at the beginning of the pandemic because you were bored and you couldn't even buy like flour because uh, <laughs> it was all out. So I did kind of go on a baking binge in the beginning and then I ended up eating it all and and well, you know, I gained five pounds and I was like, no, I can't keep doing this. So I stopped baking. I actually haven't baked anything in a long time, which is kind of makes me sad because I really do love it. But it's more like I don't have anywhere to share it at this point right now. And I was always one of those ones who would bake something and then like eat like like one or two pieces to make sure it wasn't disgusting and then like bring it to work or um, bring it to church for fundraiser or something. Um, but now I don't have that outlet. So no, I haven't baked in a while. I kind of miss it, but the diamond painting has helped <laughs> because it's given me something else to do that doesn't require me. <laughs> that one does not make me gain weight. Well, Maybe being a little bit more sedentary has helped me gain weight, but the diamond painting has actually helped me not just eat because I'm bored. So, because I'm one of those people who eat when they're bored. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so I do cook, but mainly I more enjoy cooking um, 
I cook simple things. I don't cook anything crazy. The only times I cook something a little bit crazier is when I try to bake things. Um, so, which I haven't done in a while, which makes me sad, but I also am purposely not baking so that, you know, I don't gain like 50 pounds or something. Because <laughs> I worked very hard to lose weight and I lost some, so. Okay. So there it is. I'm done. It's still not even 40 minutes in. <laughs> Doing the two diamond paintings, kidding it up. Um, well, you know what I should do? Um, because, you know, Diamond Art Club was very stingy on the ABs for this one. I should go look at the canvas and then pick out what I should, if I could ABify anything. Um, just because... I know people are interested in AB like adding ABs to their diamond painting, so let me pause and get... Okay, here are my AB drills. Um, I did just recently organize this. So I'm like looking at this and I'm thinking what I need to do is probably bling up some of the pink in the trees. That will probably be the best thing to bling up. I don't know if I want to do the green here because I want to highlight the the pink reds. I guess they're pinks and reds. So let's see. Um, C is three, two, one. That's this red. Oh, I actually have a three, two, one in that pack that I got from AliExpress. Um, so I might I might do three, two, one. So that's right here and right here. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to bling up any of the leaves on the floor because I want to highlight the leaves that are up here because I figured the leaves that are on the floor are dead. <laughs> so I don't think they should have extra sparkliness. Um, but the leaves that are still on the tree, I think, I think that's what I'll, I'll do. Bling that up and then uh, maybe something else like I have so many pinks on this I kind of don't want to waste my my few reds because I was thinking this would be great for the Christmas ones so let's see instead of the C I could I, I also don't want to do so many that 900 I don't have a 900 um I want to do one of these pinks do I have a 603 how dark is this I have the stuff in darkness Ooh, I have a 602 yeah, no, I think I might do the six. What is 602? It's the percent sign. Um, yeah, there's some of the percent signs in the tree. Ooh. Yeah, so I might I might do both of these or just one of them. I don't want to bling up too much because sometimes it's too much. Um, I kind of want to do more pinks. E, 3608. No, I don't have a 3608. I have 3609. That might be a good enough substitution. Um, it's a little bit lighter than my 3608. No, I, I did try to move all these labels that came with the kit. Um, and I didn't, I'll probably make a better label or just leave it like that. I might, I might do 3609 instead of 3608, just because that's what I have. It is a little lighter, but I don't have... Yeah, see, that would be too dark. Um, it is a little bit lighter, but it will probably still... Well, I should see what's next to it. So the, the stuff next to E is this symbol, which is darker. So as long as this is still lighter than this... Yeah, and it is. I don't have a 603. So yeah. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to replace two of these. I don't want to do too much because that would be too blingy. There's a point when you have too much bling. So yeah, I might I might do the two pinks instead of the red because it this is a really nice color already, the red. Um I don't know if I I don't know if adding see if you notice that the AB color on it will drastically change the color while these ones I think could get away with it more because it actually still looks pink so I think I might save the red for something else and do a 602 replacement and use 3609 for 
3608 even though it is a little bit lighter but we'll see so if you're not sure if it will work what i suggest is just do a small section and then look at it and see if you like it and if it if it seems fine then go on if not then you could take it off you could always take off what you the extra stuff you bling so so, but yeah, this is why I was sorting this. Um, if you saw my my video of me um, sorting this out, this is why I sorted by color because just because that way, like it gave me that option to use three six oh nine as opposed to you know something else, even though it wasn't the same DMC. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I don't have that many brown. And then if I do bling up my my gnomes, it'll probably be... I'll probably use something yellow or something. And I'll use rhinestones. Or I'll use ABs for the beard. White ABs because I know I have a lot of those. But yeah, no, that's, that's how I usually ponder how I am going to bling something up is I'll see what I have. If I don't have an exact match, I'll use something close and then I will just do a small section to test it out and then um, decide from there whether I like it. And like I said, you could always take the drills off. It's not fun to take the drills off, but you'd always take the drills off. Um, all right, so that's enough rambling. So, um, that's all for today, so thank you for watching, and happy diamond painting! Bye!